The drunk monkey theory suggests we inherited a taste for alcohol from primates. Here's to them. <laughs> the drunken monkey theory suggests humans... Oh, I said that already. <laughs> well, thank goodness we didn't inherit poop throwing. <laughs> Although, have you seen cable news lately? That in a report at Study Finds. Be sure to like and subscribe below. It may not be for everyone, but plenty of people love the taste of alcohol. I better get in the spirit of things, if you know what I mean. Here's to the monkeys. Now, a new study suggests humans inherited the taste of booze from our primate ancestors. Oh, I said that already. Originally coined the monk and drunky... Originally coined the Drunken Monkey Hypothesis in 2014 by UC Berkeley biologist Robert Dudley. Nice going, Bobby. The original theory suggests that monkeys discovered that the smell of alcohol could lead them to ripe, fermenting, and nutritious food. Fruit. Fruit. Things that grow on trees. And probably ladies' night. <laughs> I kid. Seriously, even if you personally abstain from beer, whiskey, and everything in between, there's little denying others still have the evolutionary taste for the booze. People drink on holidays to celebrate, on happy occasions to remember, and during bad times to forget, and days ending with why, and in the morning for a quick pick-me-up. <laughs> hey, I'm not as think as you drunk I am. Just let me... Drunk as you... People drink to celebrate drinking, <laughs> to make themselves look cool, to make other people look better. Oh, wait, that's not why we're here. This latest study by Primaligious... This... Primal... Prima... Monkey study lady Christine Campbell of California State University Northridge and her graduate student Victoria Weaver collected and analyzed fruit... Analyzed fruit eaten and discarded by black-handed spider monkeys in Panama. Ironically, the scientific name for these spider monkeys is Ateles Jeffroy. That's my name. Sure enough, alcohol concentrations found in the fruit ranged between 1 and 2% by volume. <laughs> I can barely hear that. No, I'm kidding. Simply put, the monkeys were consuming alcohol, the luscious Additionally, urine samples from those same free-roaming monkeys revealed secondary metabolites of alcohol. Ha <laughs> monkeys had to take a pee test. <laughs> no jobs for them. But this does mean that the monkeys were for sure using the alcohol for the energy. So to wrap this up in a brown paper bag, drunk monkey theorist Robert Dudley and UC Berkeley graduate Alexi Murrow, Marrow, Maro, M-A-R-O, who worked on this, concluded that one, there is ethanol in the food the monkeys are eating, and they're eating a lot of it. And B, they're actually metabolizing the alcohol. What we don't know is how much of it they're eating and what the effects are behaviorally and physiologically. <laughs> I have an idea about that. <laughs> well, thank you, monkeys. It's your fault we drink, and we drink because it's your fault. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. We have tons more info on this and other studies. Just click on the link in the description below and head to Study Finds. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Don't drink too much. <laughs>